Hey guys and welcome to another After Effects tutorial and this will be a very quick uh, tutorial but I get asked a lot how to add a soundtrack to your project and export your video from After Effects with soundtrack so it's a, a question that I get asked a lot and uh, instead of sending individual videos now I'm making this one public so anyone with that uh, difficulty can just go uh, right in and check this out so with no further ado let's go to our screen and what I'm doing here is uh, I'm changing a little bit of my YouTube uh, intro, which is an After Effects template that I created. And uh, but I'm uh, changing the just the videos that um, that I have on these uh, placeholders. And hopefully this <laughs> this video will be uploaded with this new. Uh, preview okay so but going to the question in the, um, that you are here for is how do I add a soundtrack to an After Effects project at the moment you can see that we have no uh, soundtrack at all and um, I want to add in this particular case two soundtracks one as a background and then one as a special effect when the camera um, or <laughs> when I simulate that the camera takes the picture so I've got two tracks here both uh, royalty uh, royalty free tracks um, available on audio jungle if you uh, I will post the link below um, in case you are interested so first of all the camera shutter if you can hear and then the okay so you can bring these two tracks to the project and there we go one thing that I would like to mention I don't really like to see everything uh, disorganized <laughs> I like to see everything in place so I'm gonna place here these two on the audio folder so I know where everything is and now if I open the audio folder I've got my two audio so one of the ways that I can bring the um, the soundtrack is just bringing it to my composition the one that I'm going to render and I can play around with the soundtrack to see uh, where okay where it would work and then I would need to duplicate this control D and find where is the second one and go over there uh, this is one of the ways of doing it but uh, what I did in this template was to create a uh, a placeholder if I go to if I double click here this is the <laughs> the the inside of the template you will check that I have um, this placeholders over here for camera shutter camera shutter over here so perfectly synced and uh, this is just because this is a template that it's available for sale and uh, let me close this because I don't need it anymore and I want to give uh, the clients or the customers uh, the, the fastest uh, way to customize templates so what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna bring my camera shutter composition and we're gonna put my camera over here close it up and now if I play and as you can see I don't have any audio soundtrack here if I play it we will hear the okay so as you can see uh, it gives me a little bit more of work um, to synchronize this but once the template is ready uh, all you have to do is is that so well but that's the way <laughs> i work now let's go and forget about this this uh, camera special effect let's just say that we want a um, audio soundtrack as a background so i'm going to bring this to the main composition okay i can close this now don't need it anymore and in this case uh, this audio track when i built the template was uh, inspired <laughs> inspired in this audio track uh, so it's perfectly uh, fit on YouTube so uh, don't need to sing 
again but let's check something here that you could uh, change on your soundtrack um, if you click on this little arrow here and then on audio and then on waveform you can see the uh, waveform for this particular uh, audio track this will be very useful if you are working with transitions that require uh, to make um, the soundtrack according to the transitions for example so you can play around and let's say cut a bit here so you could go to layer uh, and um, sorry not layer edit and split layer and then you could just bring well that's for another topic but you see the point you can play around with that another thing that you can play with is let's say you want to start your audio track with less volume or no volume at all okay and I'm gonna make another keyframe here and then let's say I want to put audio here at normal so this would give me fading in audio <laughs> uh, this is particularly useful if the soundtrack is uh, bigger than um, than your composition let's say I'm gonna click here and here remove these keyframes let's say that the audio track ended like this like this so what you would do is uh, go right where you want to start fading make a keyframe and then go to the end or almost the end and just bring these values and then here you will have to make some tests but I can you can see the waveform uh, going down as we change these values here so that it gives a smoother uh, look so now we have this um, fade away okay so let's do this and let's pretend that well not pretend because it's ready to to render now the final step will be render your video um, with the audio track uh, already in place everything um, everything okay and ready to render so what we are going to do is go to our composition that we want to render select composition on a menu add to render queue and in here let's select the format that we want to render let's go to QuickTime um, not PNG this time H264 around 80% or above okay one very important step don't forget <laughs> this step or it won't work is audio output you will have to check the audio output and then press ok just change uh, your name the, the name that you want to to give to intro YouTube uh, new something like this um, and all you have to do now is uh, press render and that's it it will start to render and once it's finished uh, you will have your um, your intro or your slideshow or whatever you are working in uh, after effects ready to be um, well uploaded to YouTube or whatever you use okay guys so this is it uh, took a little bit longer than I expected but uh, I hope it's useful for some of you it is a very basic technique uh, but as I said in the beginning of the video I get asked a lot and I um, while I was uh, thinking about changing my uh, pictures on the YouTube uh, intro I said well let's make this one okay so if this was useful to you please uh, thumbs up if it wasn't useful or if you didn't like just a hey, robot didn't like it thumbs down uh, any comments anything that you want to say um, anyway I hope it was useful for you uh, my name is Roberto George and thanks for watching